Panda Polar Bear Matthew J. Beek. Panda and Polar Bear by Matthew J. Beek. In a palace where spring met winter, they lived two kinds of bears. Where it was green and grassy, lived with the panda bears. And where it was white and witty, lived the polar bears. But between loom and tall, speed, slippery cliff, it was too tall for panda bear to climb up, and it was too tall for polar bear to climb down, and so it never met. Until one curious polar bear became too curious and was beyond his white, witty world, he walked closer to the edge of the cliff and closer and closer still, perhaps still too close. Lucky, the polar bear landed in a patch of soft, squeaky mud. It was sticky and brown and yick. Stomp, stomp. Something was coming, polar bear ran. The cliff was too tall, too steep, and too slippery to climb up. Stomp, stomp. The polar bear covered his eyes. He peeked behind the muddy paws. And I saw a strange, scotchy bear staring at him. Are you new? Are you asked the strange, potty bear? Do you want to play? Hmm, said the polar bear. The spotty bear looked at his eyes. In no time, they were climbing trees, playing hide-and-seek and following the leader. <clears throat> Finally, they sat down for a snack. Yick, the polar bear. Bamboo's too hard. It had a better idea. The fish, he said with his new spotty friend. Polar bear looked into the water and gasped. Could it be he wasn't playing white anymore? He had turned. To a spotty bear. Splash! He swam out, snatched a fish, and proudly presented his catch. You're faded, spotty bear said. Where are your panda patches? Panda patches? The polar bear replied. Aren't you a panda bear? That's a spotty bear. No, he said quietly, I'm a polar bear. I'm all white like snow, he sighed. What terrifically spotted panda bear would want to be friends with a white polar bear? But the pine's face brightened. He'd never seen snow. He said, what is like? <clears throat> so the polar bear explained all about snow. But the more he talked, the more he remembered, he remembered the more he missed suddenly. I'll help you get home, said the panda bear. But the cliff, the polar bear replied, I think something, said panda. So he thought and thought and thought until he couldn't think any more. Maybe we could use bamboo, said the polar bear. My mother told me never to play with food, but I think it's okay this time, said polar bear. Together we made a very long ladder, very, very, very long ladder. When he finished the time he came up to the polar bear to go, he looked at the panda bear. Would you still be friends after he left? The polar bear wanted to ask, but he wasn't sure how. Instead, he turned and slowly climbed the ladder. And climbed and climbed, higher he went. The harder the wind blew, the ladder began to shake. Then it was suddenly still. The polar bear looked down. There was a panda bear holding onto the ladder with all his might. Don't worry, the panda called. I've got you. In fact, they had each other and a lot more to discover. It is my sweet little panda, dear Jaden, and it's Chris to Martha. Thank you.